Hey guys, thanks for joining me again on this Champion 4550, 3650 uh, dual fuel generator review. Uh, I say again because if you do watch my videos regularly or if you want to check out the channel, um, I've got the video on there from the first one that came. Um, I ordered through Home Depot. They actually had the best price. Uh, this was a spe specific generator that I was looking for. Uh, so I shopped around all over the place. Home Depot actually beat everybody by quite a bit. Um, I love Home Depot, uh, but they did have what I was looking for. Uh, I had the option to ship to home or ship to store, and I took ship to home. That was a bad idea. Uh, it came UPS, and it came very, very damaged. So I talked to Home Depot. They took care of everything. They got me a new one ordered. I decided to uh, pick up at the store this time. Um, so I got it picked up, and so we're going to check it all out and see what it does. But this is the Champion Dual Fuel 4550, 3650 running watts. Uh, on gas, uh, LP, we are 4,100 starting watts and 3,285 running watts. Uh, it is electric start. Uh, we do have the 30 amp camper plug on it, uh, which that's actually what we're going to be using it for mostly. Uh, and then we've got the 120 volt plugs just for the normal stuff. Uh, but we probably are going to be mounting this onto our RV. Uh, that way we can uh, take it with us wherever we go. One step closer to going off grid a little bit. One day. One day I might just disappear and uh, go off grid and nobody will ever know where I'm at, but we'll find out. So we're gonna get it put together here. It doesn't have any oil in it, no gas, anything like that. I just got it out of the box. So uh, we'll get it, get the oil in it. Uh, we've got the instructions there, see what it all it does. They send the oil with you uh, or with the uh, generator. So it's nice and easy for you. We do have a wheel kit uh, with uh, handles and uh, wheels. And uh, I think I've also got a cover uh, with it, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, we'll get some stuff put together here. I didn't figure you wanted to watch all that. Uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory, I think, but then we'll get started up and see what it does. Okay. So that didn't take very long at all. Uh, the quick start guide, the little instruction sheet that comes with it is actually great. Uh, very simple. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. At least if you've been around these things at all, um, you've got a wheel kit to put on. Um, when you're, when you are shopping for them, I would look for one that has a wheel kit. If yours does not, uh, you can buy one. The one I got here came with it. Uh, so it works out pretty well, but you just have to get your wheels on both sides. And then there are little brackets in the front with rubber feet that it sits on, uh, makes it way easier. Um, I don't remember the exact specs, but I think this generator generator weighs, uh, right over a hundred pounds, something like that. Um, you can look the specs up, find out exactly, but it is a little heavy. So, I mean, you're not going to want to pick it up and lug it half mile down the road or anything. So the wheels are definitely going to help. Um, but make sure you've got a kit you do have to put that on. You do have to plug the battery in. It does come disconnected. Uh, you do have to remove some mounting brackets that are up underneath there. It tells you to flip the generator up on its side and you can get those off. Uh, no big deal. Everything came off pretty easy. Uh, you probably want those off there to keep the noise level down uh, after it runs. They're just shipping brackets, but they, the generator does have uh, little rubber feet under the motor and everything down there, just like any other generator to try to soften that noise. Um, so hopefully we're fairly quiet. We'll find out. Uh, you do have to put your oil in it. It sends, uh, it ships with a bottle of oil uh, that says that it's measured out for what it requires in there. Uh, but it also has a little warning tag that says do not overfill, all that kind of stuff. Just like any other, if you've ever been around small engines at all, uh, you don't want to overfill the oil in one. Um, so when I pulled the dipstick out to fill this thing, there was actually a little bit of oil down at the bottom of the dipstick. I'm not sure why, um, but um, so I, I just put the oil in slowly and kept checking it. Uh, it did not actually take the entire bottle uh, to get it full. I'm probably gonna check it again after we get it up and started and running and all that, um, but be very careful. Uh, don't just dump the whole bottle in because you may overfill the thing. So uh, we've got a little bit of gas in it. It's not full. Uh, I didn't fill it up all the way. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be running this thing after I get it started make sure everything's okay. Um, I don't want a bunch of fuel sitting in there for a long time. So I will fill it up when we actually uh, go to use it. So I have not started this yet. So I wanna see if this thing will start right off the bat, right out of the box with fresh fuel and oil and everything in it without having to uh, do much to it. So we're going to find out. So it says, if you're running on gas, you get the little lever switch over here, flip it to gas, flip it over to the start position, come over here. It says to choke it. So we'll do that. Then it says to hit the button. Okay, not yet.
Okay, well, so it started, but then it died. Either way, that's probably pretty normal. I'm pretty impressed that it actually started right off the bat. Uh, like I said, that's the first time this thing's ran. I did not start it before I turned the camera on or anything. Uh, I wanted to see if it actually would uh, fire right off, and it did, pretty much. Um, so dying like it did, probably not a big deal. Just getting everything moving. This thing's never ran before. It's brand new. So that's pretty normal. I'm going to get it up and running, and then we'll check it out again here in a second. Okay, the thing starts and runs nice and smooth now. I know why it died a minute ago. Um, I'm an idiot, and all you people out there watching the videos um, are probably calling me an idiot, saying, well, you left the choke on, dummy. Uh, that's exactly why, uh, just like any other small engine, once the thing takes off, you gotta move the uh, choke back over to the run position. Um, so make sure you do that. I was, as usual, too busy watching the camera uh, instead of doing what I was actually supposed to be doing. So uh, we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna show you how easy this thing starts so we've got our choke turned on we've got her over to the start position on the gas side and we start right up i don't want to leave it running because then you Probably not gonna be able to hear me over the sound of that thing, but uh, it does start nice and smooth, nice and easy. I mean, anybody can start this thing. It does have a pull cord uh, in case your battery's dead or something like that and you can't get it started. Um, but I mean, it's nice and easy. Like I said, anybody could start this generator with the wheel kit. Uh, anybody would be able to move this thing around, so not a big deal. Um, you know, if you you know were having troubles with something like that with some of the other generators, um, it starts nice and easy, so no problems. Um, I'm going to get a propane tank hooked up to this thing and fire it off that way and see how it does. Um, you know, and then we'll check it all out and uh, plug some things in. I do like the IntelliGauge that it puts on there. Uh, it does show you exactly what your voltage is coming out. Um, being a, a, a geek like I am, I'm going to get a meter out and actually check the voltage myself and see if that IntelliGauge is accurate. Um, so, but I like that. It'll show you the, the voltage it's putting out. It'll show you the hertz, all that kind of stuff. Um, it is supposed to be safe for an RV. Uh, anytime you put it on an RV, I'd always recommend a surge protector and, um, you know, all those different things, which they make all different kinds of protectors for RVs. Uh, they're not actually just surge protectors. They protect against uh, any kind of improper voltage and that kind of thing. So I would recommend that, but they do advertise this one as like RV ready. Um, I did decide not to go with the inverter compressor or the inverter um, generator just for the fact that uh, this one was a little less expensive. Anytime I'm going to be using it, I'm not going to have to worry about that noise level so much. Um, I am going to use a surge uh, protector on it that monitors voltage and everything, and it'll shut it down if uh, or disconnect voltage to the RV if there were to be any problems or anything like that. But um, I, I'm ready to get it out there, start using the thing, see what it actually does. Uh, you could you know wheel this around, use it in the backyard. You could use it on an RV, uh, job site. Uh, there's all kinds of things you could do with this thing. So um, like I said, dual fuel, be able to do anything with it. Uh, 4550 starting watts, 3650 running watts uh, on gas, and 4100 and 3285 on propane. Um, you know, looks like a solid generator. So I'll get five stars. Uh, seems to do pretty good. So uh, if you have any questions on it or anything like that, uh, once we actually get it mounted onto the uh, RV, I may uh, do another video on that because we have uh, looked up and there's a lot of different mounts you can get. I don't like the ones on the back bumper. Uh, they make one that mounts uh, above the propane tanks in the front. Uh, we do have a, a tow behind travel trailer. Uh, so I want to try to do that and make it a little more convenient. So I don't know. I may end up making my own rack of some sorts, but either way, I want to be able to put it in the front, chain it down, uh, lock it down when we're traveling, all that kind of stuff. So Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, uh, hit me up in the comments. I'd uh, be more than happy. Uh, but the way I see it, it's a great generator. So be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Thank you and God bless.